A controlled burn spread to cover about two acres of brush and debris on Highway 3 Tuesday night. We'll have the details on that just ahead. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. A collision involving a Clark Beverage truck on Goodrum Road took out a couple of utility poles earlier today. Two poles were completely destroyed, taking down lines and hardware with them. Utility disruption caused Zips on Fisher Ferry to shut down and traffic to be impacted, with some detouring down Naylor Road. Also this morning, an SUV was involved in a rollover incident on Porter's Chapel Road in front of Trinity Baptist Church. A witness stated the driver was in the wrong lane and wound up going into a ditch. The driver was taken to River Region Merritt Health by ambulance for treatment. Jackson resident Antoine Jacobs has been found guilty of two counts of aggravated assault and shooting at a dwelling in Vicksburg. Jacobs was charged with the drive-by shooting, two counts of aggravated assault, and shooting at a dwelling house in an incident in 2019. After less than an hour, the jury wound up hung on the drive-by charge, but found Jacobs guilty of the remaining charges. Jacobs' sentencing is scheduled for November 19th at 2 p.m. and faces up to 50 years. For more details on this story, you can visit our website, VicksburgNews.com. And our final story for the evening, a controlled burn spread to cover about two acres of brush and debris on Highway 3 Tuesday night, drawing a large response from Warren County and Vicksburg firefighters to regain control of the blaze. The fire spread over a massive area but was still about 300 yards from the roadway, making it challenging for firefighters to get water to the location. Powerful winds threatened to spread the fire into the tree line, but firefighters managed to get the blaze back under control. Warren County Fire Coordinator Jerry Briggs reminds everyone that sizable burns must be approved by the Mississippi Forestry Commission and even small control burns should be reported to your local firehouse before commencing. We'll be right back. Stay with us. How goes the car shopping? We found the one. Just waiting on financing. Oh, there it is. Approved. That was quick. How'd you do that? That reminds me, I need to pay my water bill. Oh, you're going to me money for lunch today. Great. I don't have to split the check. How did you do that? Did he buy a boat? How did you do that? <gasps> we do bank with. Mutual, mutual credit, credit union. union. Where are you going? To set up an account with Mutual Credit Union. <laughs> Use the app. Mutual Credit Union, banking that comes to you because there should be nothing between you and your money. Porter Chapel Academy girls basketball team had their season opener last night against Discovery Christian. They came out on top in a 58 to 13 win where Zai Smith scored 13 points and Tierra Sims came out with 21. Vicksburg native Marcus Tenner got his first collegiate sack on Saturday in Millsap's 42-32 win over Sewanee College. He'll be back in action this weekend as Millsap will travel to play Hendricks College. The Missy Gators got their first victory of the season last night as they went head up with Holmes County Central. They won the game 58-54 while Layla Carler led with 17 points. Warren Central High School girls basketball team are now off to a 2-0 start after last night's victory over Jim Hill. Zachary Seegers led the team with 10 points on the night. Alex Long has the latest details on what to expect with weather in our area. Alex? Hey Marcus. Well tomorrow we have partly cloudy skies with some light wind gusts with a high near 62 degrees. Friday will be sunny with a high near 66 and Saturday will be sunny with a high near 69. Thank you so much for that update, Alex. Vicksburg Daily News wants to help you celebrate your birthday. We're simply asking our viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them and how old they're turning. We'll do our best to share those as you send them in. Remember, you can get updates anytime on our website at vicksburgnews.com.